This is Emmy. Emmy has been grinding Rocket League since 2016. That's now seven years of trying to get Grand Champ, yet she is hard stuck platinum. She's had to watch her friends surpass her as they've all reached Grand Champ, leaving her in the dust. Emmy has been coached before, but was deemed unteachable and unfixable. Our goal is to change that. Welcome to Emmy's journey to Grand Champion. Last episode, we met Emmy and we figured out that she is not the most mechanical Rocket League player out there. She has a lot of work to do if she is going to get to Grand Champ, but we are going to get Grand Champ. I wanted to quickly mention something kind of serious though. A lot of people commented about how wrong it was that I picked a girl for this challenge. Let me say this quickly and I'll only say it once during this series. I don't care if you're a boy, a girl, or a dog. I wanted someone who was willing to take on this challenge wholeheartedly, had a PC, and actually put in effort into applying. What that person looked like, sounded like, or where they came from did not matter. Emmy has been stuck in the low ranks for seven years and getting someone like that to grand champ is exactly the type of challenge I wanted to take on. Don't be hateful just because you're jealous you weren't picked or whatever the hell your problems are. Speaking of problems, we've got a massive one to overcome with Emmy. If we really want to get to grand champ, we're going to have to learn how to aerial. There's no better feeling than literally flying. Getting good at aerials is a long and potentially painful road. Oh, and I have I haven't forgotten about the 1v1 gauntlet that I mentioned in the last video. We are going to play 1v1 until we lose and what you'll see will amaze you. But we're going to hold off on that for now until after I give her the most important advice that you might hear in this entire series. My first prescription to Emmy's aerial training regimen is this training pack. Though it looks simple, I promise you that this training pack is going to be her nightmare. Not only are we practicing our normal flying methods, but she will also have to fly upside down at the ball too. Oh hey, flying is cool in Rocket League, but it's also cool in War Thunder, today's sponsor. I'm confident that your car control will transfer over to War Thunder, the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever. I mean, look at this battlefield. You've got tanks planes, helicopters, over 2,000 options to pick from. War Thunder is a fast, action-packed game where you can play against other people in a well-made damaging system that actually makes sense. Each individual component on the vehicles are incredibly detailed, meaning when you take damage, your vehicle takes damage in specific places and your crew takes damage. It's just an awesome and immersive system that I think you guys will really like. War Thunder is available on PC, Xbox Series X, S, and PlayStation 4 and 5. I think it's so cool that you can have battles in the air, on the ground, or on the sea, whatever you're feeling like that day. To give War Thunder a try, visit the link in the description where you'll also receive a large free bonus pack for using my link that will give you premium vehicles, boosters, and more. Again, the link is in the description and thanks to War Thunder for sponsoring the video. As I was saying, it might be tedious to fly upside down like this and some people might be thinking right now that this is stupid, but the muscle memory gained from this is going to change everything for her. So yeah, first goal is to just hit the ball. <laughs> towards the net. Nice, Ben, exactly. I want you to do a fast aerial like you just did. These first few attempts really show the inconsistency she has while aerialing. Things get even uglier when she tries to do this upside down. Luckily for us though, we can see multiple days of progression in just a few seconds with the power of editing. Backwards. Okay, wait, so if it's backwards, right, left, up. I just want to say, watching a lower ranked player give it all in their training is what Rocket League is all about. These are the moments that you don't normally get to see as you watch someone get better. Emmy is really putting in the time here and it's going to pay off. Don't believe me? Watch this next attempt. We're only two days into her aerial training and she's figuring it out. Understanding how to fly backwards. No way that just like clicked in my head. I don't know where. Oh, I cannot wait for it to become just like something I just do. This is one of those moments that we will get to look back on and think, look how far we've come. 
Next up, we're going to talk about that important thing I mentioned in the beginning of the video. I was going to save this information until we were closer to the champ ranks, but I had to tell Emmy about it now. The reason was because of this game. You see, I brought in this guy, Adiv Light, who is a solid Platinum 3 player. I wanted to see how Emmy did against someone who is almost Diamond level, but then I realized a major mistake that needed fixing immediately. In fact, the mistake she's making is so bad that she lost to this Platinum player 10 to 0. I've got to tell her what she's doing wrong here. I'm going to count. I'm literally just going to count when you do it. And I want you to tell me what it is. One. Two. Sorry, there's three. Four. Five. Is it the stupid flip thing that I keep doing? Six. Is that what, is that what you're counting on? <laughs> it is. Yeah, it is. It's, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. diagonal flip. Well, it's not that it's not necessarily not the diagonal, diagonal but it's flip. A flip. It's it's you flipping on pretty much every touch that you're gonna make. Um, there's oh, another one I can, there. Oh my god, that is such a muscle memory. I I catch myself doing it a lot, and so I try to undo it. Okay. But at some point in some part of my rocket league career, somebody really ingrained in my head that the ball will only move if I flip into it, and now I can't stop flipping oh, into it. Oh god, who gave you that advice? I've seen this problem before, but it's like Emmy has bound her flip button to every button on her controller. It's insane how much she is doing this. I can't begin to list the potential issues associated with this habit. There's too many. I feel like if Rocket League had a healthcare system, Emmy's flipping problem would require an emergency room visit and a $100,000 surgery, at least in America. If it's not obvious, we need to fix this now before we can move on with anything else. You could have easily hit this into the corner with a single jump here. And then now you can land your car easily on the wall instead of your butt hitting the wall. <laughs> look at look at that. Right, position. and then falling off of the wall and trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. It, yep, it's just not going to put in another flip. See, there's, there's another flip. Uh, I just want you to we're going to want to do one real quick. And I want a lot of your challenges to be single jumps. See, look at that. Now look. Look how, look how positioned you are and you have a free goal. A platinum's not going to recover as fast as I did. See how you're like right here? You're you're next to the ball. Nice. See, you just outbeat me. Oh you God. outplayed me. It feels so weird, though. It feels yeah. like so slow. What Emmy just said is the problem with the plat diamond ranks. Everyone thinks you have to play as fast as humanly possible, but the gameplay is too inefficient to do that. The most amazing thing about this lesson is it requires no mechanics. Everyone who plays Rocket League can single jump, and as you can see, Emmy is doing it flawlessly and is maintaining a lot more pressure than she normally would. I'm confident that Emmy is going to understand this philosophy quickly, and since it requires no extra mechanical practice, I think it's time for our 1v1 gauntlet. The objective? Play 1v1s until we lose. During these games, I want to highlight the single jump philosophy. It gets a little more intricate as we get into the high ranks, but for now, I want Emmy to pretty much only single jump on all of her challenges. Help me! Help me! <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, I'd rather see that madness of movement than you flipping and now it's in your net. Good job, good job. Look how the ball is just in front of you, perfectly. Nice, well done. Oh, good I, did, job. I don't think I flipped at all. I think I did once. You, no, you did at the very like, end. It was perfect. Yeah. You flipped for like, I mean, it was already in the net. You didn't have to, but like you flipped into the ball for power. Un perfect, absolutely perfect there. Nothing wrong at all. No. You're good, you're good. Grab some boost. Remember, single jumps are your friend. Yeah, we need that boost. Oh no. <laughs> power slide. That's fine too. You get power over his head. It was a little unnecessary, but uh, it wasn't the worst I've ever done. Look at him. Look at that idiot. <laughs> oh my god. Why is he flipping, is he right? I don't know. Why was I flipping? He's no, no, look at now. him. Look at him. Look. The fear. It's the fear because <laughs> it's in your net area. It's just a low rank thing. And it, the less you do it, the better off you're going to be. Mission failed. Uh oh. Don't know why. Don't know why. Don't know why. It's just habits. It's going to take a little bit of time, but the more conscious you I feel are like about it. At least it, I'm, yeah, I'm conscious about it. Yeah. That'll make the, all the difference. 
Nice. I love that play. Uh, I don't even know if you know what you did, but you <laughs> gave yourself it. space right here when you hit it into him. You back. Look how far off you turned. Very good game sense there. Her first game working on single jumps here obviously wasn't perfect, but she's doing it enough where she's able to stay relevant in the play more often. And she's going to take a dub on this first game. No sweat. Close the gap here. Don't commit. Nice. Very. That's a fake challenge. Un absolutely beautiful. You drove up to the ball. Probably a little bit too close for my liking, but you made him give the ball away. That was a great job. Good boost. Wow, you're looking. You're looking high level right now. Seriously, he's gone, so you have plenty of time. Good. Good ball cam off there. That's a single jump. You didn't flip uh, in your back. I didn't. Great job. Oh yeah, you you punished this. Nice. Look at that. You did nothing. Okay. You All tried. Right. I'm screwed up. No. I'm gonna screw up. <laughs> open net. I can't score open nets. No, I can't so do sad. it. I'll hey, make up job. for it. I'll make up for it. I'll make oh up for it. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the own goal, the missing the open net was not good. Don't don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. But that everything just... that led up to that was absolutely made. He's pissed. Oh, he, thinks he gave up. Surfing. He gave up. It's probably typing an essay, but I can't read because I'm in friends only. Oh yeah. One goal and the man tilts off the the planet <laughs> Earth. Wow. Yeah, he quit, man. He's out. Oh, See ya. <laughs> oh, he lagged out. Well, who knows? Two games and two wins. Not bad so far. Honestly, this one tip alone could probably get her to platinum in ones easily. As long as she keeps ingraining in her mind that single jumps are priority, I think we can do it. Nice. Good positioning. Great push forward. He didn't flip, but he gave it to you. Can you? Oh, let's go. Oh. Too good. <laughs> What a, what a dummy hitting the ball off like that. Oh, this is... Oh. No, 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 no. It's fine, it's fine. He's back. It is fine. It was a single jump, so you didn't fully commit. So you're actually back. Big. Nice. Good power hit over him. Good touch. Yeah, keep the speed up. Make him do something. Great touches. Let's go. Nice. Good Good job not committing there. Good job not committing there. Good flip for speed. Oh, God. I hit him. How did I hit him? How did I hit him? No! Sorry. I, it wasn't, that wasn't I, too poorly like, played. Even though she just got scored on, she did really well sticking to the game plan. And as a coach, you have to sometimes not care when someone gets scored on as long as a student is practicing good habits, which Emmy is doing, and she's already looking different than game one. Nice. Love that single jump. Look at the pressure. Look, and he's flipping. I, I don't mind the flip there. I don't mind it. Yeah, you just have to be quick to get back. Good recovery. He's not him. Nice. <laughs> oh, he took your boost. You gotta be careful here. Just do not let him. Oh. All right, you're just gonna get platinum today. All right, we're going to be loose. Okay. 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 Oh, let's go again. I'm honestly not surprised that she's winning these games. When I learned this single jump trick from a semi-pro friend of mine, I gained 100 MMR in 1v1s that same night. For all you guys watching right now, I highly suggest you try this out, especially if you're a lower rank. It's almost free wins. You still need to make sure you are flipping in general. No, too. but I hit it. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Good flip. Let's go. <laughs> That's, you would not have scored that without that front flip there. That was perfect. No, I wouldn't have. Low key, by the way, Emmy's catches and their control touches she has is pretty high rank. I'd say it's almost like champ level. She just needs to get a little better at it. But that's a good sign for our future games. Nice. Good placement. Oh my God, I feel crazy right now. I have You're like- You're cracked. Holy God, it's really just the flipping. I mean, there's a lot more that we need to learn. Just, no, no, I thought I was just concrete bad at ones like- uh, Okay. Oh, thanks. You're you're gonna be platinum. If this is your opponents, they're just out of control, and you can see the difference, yeah. right? Oh. Oh my God! Yeah, you flip into that. Let's go. Get out of your game. Just just forfeit. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Let's okay. go again. All right, here we go. Love the single jump. Yeah, you're recovered still. You can drive challenge. Yep. You don't even have to. You don't have to jump there. I love the challenge though. Stay near this. Yeah, he's awkward. Perfect. Now get get some space around it. Yeah, you know what you're doing. Let's go. Good oh. try. Good try. Good try. He's probably a little bit higher ranked than what he is now, but we still have plenty of opportunity to beat him. Nice. 
Right, he's doing a good job not committing you there. Nice drill. Good I job. have to do a lot to get a comeback. Though. Do you guys know what a paid actor is? Well, this guy might be one. For some reason, her opponent decided to straight up not play anymore. Emmy was able to take the lead before he finally lost connection. I'm not sure if she was going to actually win that one. The guy was air dribbling earlier on, but we'll take it. I think by now you guys understand how impactful this can be. Emmy is a chronic flipper, but these few games showed us that she can definitely make a huge change in her gameplay and start to gain a lot of MMR quickly. She won two more games in a row, bringing her total win streak to seven games. She lost the next one, but it was six to seven, so it was a close game, but her defense kind of fell apart. I think she's pretty proud of herself. But now I would like to introduce you to the Grand Grand Champ plan. Obviously, to get Grand Champ, you need to have learned certain skills. But what exactly are those skills? Well, I've broken down Rocket League into three major categories. Mechanics, game sense, and mentality. Our goal for this series is to get Emmy proficient in each of the three categories, or 50 points in each. Currently, Emmy's mentality is the highest out of the three, easily at 50 out of 50 right now. What's keeping her from Grand Champ at the moment is, of course, mechanics and game sense. Every episode, my goal will be to increase one of these stats so that she is one step closer to Grand Champ. For example, in this video alone, Emmy went from 0 out of 5 skill in aerials to 1 out of 5. She also went from a hard 0 in 50-50s to a 1. She's got a lot to learn still, but as long as we keep pushing these numbers up, we will get Grand Champ. It's all right here. Any players out there who are 10 out of 10 on everything? You better not be platinum if you comment you are.